<clears throat> hey everyone, this is Vickerman and we're here with the Witcher 3 stream. Checking out this brand new game from CD Projekt Red. And uh, we're going to start a new game here on the stream. Played a little bit, but not too much. So, not too many spoilers there. Uh, I think that we will choose for the stream maybe the Blood and Broken Bones difficulty level. And we'll do tutorials so you can see what's going on for that. So, uh, Witcher 3 just came out last night. And uh, seems to be running pretty well here on my PC. So you may not be able to see the see it to its full justice because I don't have a whole lot of upload speed, but trust me, it's pretty good. That's pretty gross. <laughs> I suspect not the last gross thing we'll see. There's our hero, Geralt. He's uh, quite a gruff fellow. So yeah, Witcher 3 is the third one in the series, but I played through, I think, two acts of the first one. I have not played the second one, <laughs> even though the second one is apparently way better. This one's supposed to be even better than that, so I figure why. Well, you know, I've waited long enough, might as well just skip ahead. Pretty interesting. It's a powerful little shiny rock. That bird there is kind of crazy. Got kind of the um, Aragorn figuring out the lay of the battle type of scene going on here. After the fact, you know. That bird's head is like a piece of metal or something. Geralt, sleeping after a hard day's tracking. So now we're going back to uh, flashback. You know, he's taking a little bath. A little creepy, a little scorpion crawling in there with him. <laughs> you know, I don't find that amusing. I do, though. It 
wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. Bath hype. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. Speaking of etchings, that man is well scarred. Of course, uh, you know, we have to start the Witcher off right with a little bit of butt. Ah. This person seems familiar. Okay, we've got control now. Welcome to The Witcher 3. Very good. Wants me to use my Witcher senses to find the key to the bedroom door. Apparently I've been locked in here. And the mini-map. I think I understand its function. Alright. He's got a strange uh, hunch to his neck there. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive, not to mention unreasonable. I missed you a lot. And I missed you, but we'll have plenty of time to make up for that. Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. Okie dokie. Let's continue to search. That's amusing, we can turn off uh, fires and turn the back on. I don't think we need any light. Whoop! <laughs> Control that rage, man. Hmm. Out. Alright, I can finally get out of here. <laughs> Jump. What are my Witcher senses teaching telling me? Little strange uh, pendant physics going on. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm. Why? Hmm. Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too. Damn it. <laughs> Better taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick. No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? 
How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower <laughs> courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true. <laughs> you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. Say, he doesn't seem to be that uh, firm of an instructor. Partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she is to become one of us. I'll see you below. Very well. Wrong. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike. Apparently she's not doing it right. It's pretty impressive. You're not in this circus, pirouette. He doesn't seem impressed though. <laughs> Wrong. Footwork. Enough. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? Take off the blindfold. <laughs> You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a week. I don't know. It seems pretty good to me. Triggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations. Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any Striga. Disobeying his instructions, unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know. She has the point. No, that's no excuse. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Apologies not enough or better not. Sorry's not good enough. You're gonna read Ghouls and Al Ghouls in its entirety. Appendices included. Not the appendices. I'd rather clean the stables. End of discussion. Come oh, on. you can do that too. Practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. Is a Witcher school or an Elven bathhouse? Hmm. Beat you to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. Get out of the way. I gotta win. You seem to think it's an Elven bathhouse, Geralt. What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. Now watch how you fall. Siri, cut it out. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Down we go. She's real slow. Whoa. That was close. You can't actually die here. I I did it. That's <laughs> what they all say. In the end, they're all wrong. What did you expect? He just has egregious scars. Okay. Uh, no, that guy does. Anything I was wrong. Yourself, young lady? Uh, well, no. I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action. I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least. You want to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. Mm. So you did. 
read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to weasel your way out of this. A witcher must know how to trick his opponent. You said so yourself. Huh? Huh. Might have. But don't use my words of wisdom on Vesemir, got it? That's playing with fire. <laughs> Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with the dummy. Again? The dummy. Stop groaning and grab a sword. <sighs> Alright, Vesemir. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Now, what kind of basketball coach does not go over the fundamentals first? Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals. Plus, even though you know I've done this, it uh, will be good to show you out there how this game is played. Draw your sword, Geralt. Lots of stuff there. That's a big, big message right there. Talking about swords, you have a steel sword for fighting humans and non-humans. I guess non-human is specific. It's not excluded. They're talking about dwarves and elves. The other is a silver sword for slaying monsters. So you gotta choose the right weapon for the job. Uh, wizards have... Or, uh, witchers, sorry. Wonder how often I'm gonna do that. Witchers have also mastered a simple form of combat magic. These signs are not as powerful as the spells wielded by mages, but they can be cast very quickly. So those are nice. You also have alchemy. You can make potions, blade oils, and bombs. So, draw my sword. Steel sword. Because Vesemir's a human, at least I think. And we can press on the right trigger to lock on. And we can hit him. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty standard quick and strong attacks. Then we can dodge with the B button. Hoo-ha! Do a roll too. Well, that's true. Alright, we can do a counter type of thing here. When he attacks. Come on. Come on, man. Okay, so the signs, you can use the quick menu here to select a sign. You have all sorts of them. We use right trigger. And that's a shield. As you can see, it will protect me. Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. Igni is fire. Ha <laughs> ha! Shall wear the on your shield. Oh. Come on, Adam. All right, girls, come on. Got me with my guard down, man. Huzzah! See oh. that, Siri? Hard will knock anyone. Or Whoop! Get out of the way. Time for Axie. Damn it. And then bash him in the face. Okay, that thing will just slow him down. Throw a bomb. Don't worry, Siri. Throw a bomb. You want me to throw a bomb at you, man? 
All right, here we are. You can hold this and throw it. You can aim it. Kaja. Combat tutorial is now over. You can continue training with Vesemir. Or you can sheathe your sword to end it. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. It's trying to kill me now. Take that. Switch to this. Nope. Yep. It's kind of cool how it goes into slow motion like that. Oh. Alright, that's it. We'll see if I have learned enough. Oh yeah. I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. Uh I know for sure that there's a steel sword and a silver sword for your weapons. I'm not sure if there are others. I know in the first one you could pick up like axes and things and use them too. But I don't know if they're doing that in this one or not. I think there's a crossbow as well. in the sky. Oh my. <laughs> 